All right, let's see what missions we have for good old Arthur Morgan here. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so we just um, burned the tobacco fields of the what family? Is it? The Gray family, and now we're going to assist them with our friend John Marston, which kind of kind of seems a little weird, but it is what it is. Very foggy morning over here. Too many federals coming through. Let's check uh, the progress we are at here. 33%? That's it? I'm only 33% through this game? That is insane. That is insane. Holy hell. Wait, what? Get that no count Ain't worth our time. Wait, 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 what? I'm sorry, were you talking to me? What you doing back here, scum? Stop the things. Oh, they're they're just gonna Are we redoing wait, am I gonna punch you? Are we Okay. I didn't know if this was a gunfight or a fist fight. How do I throw? You best run. Gonna win this. Ow. All right. All right. That's it. Jesus. Offer your unconditional surrender. You're surrounded. Sissy. Um. All right. This is what we're gonna do. Oh wait, I'm I can't take out my guns. Shit. You clean. Not good. I guess I actually have to just fist fight these people. You might not be from the morn, but you'll die here. <sighs> the fist fighting mechanics are so fun, I'm glad I can fight three people at the same time. You're gonna be committed to the earth in the state of Lamar. Uh, hello, King Fu Man, hello King Vigil. You ain't going nowhere now. We're all over Just uh doing some fist fighting. The more boys never but I tell you what. That's Eat it. this. <laughs> we are gonna make a short lot of fun. That all you got? <laughs> Man, maybe these guys have miracle tonics as well, because Jesus, they're not falling. Hello, Lisa, how's it going? No, I want to fight the other guy, please, that I've been working on. Yeah, there we go. How many times do I got to punch this dude? Uh. Sounds like you was all tuckered out, huh? Wait. <sighs> See ya, hey, hey, everybody. Holy hey, we finally knocked out one guy. So in about 20 minutes, we can proceed onward. Oh, yeah, actually, that wasn't too bad. I would totally take a $300 bounty if I could just pull out my guns right now and shoot these people. Like, it worth it. Totally worth it. Instead of just doing this poor fist fighting mechanic. You 
ain't messing with no Sunday soldiers, boy. Uh. You ain't gonna win this. Raiders row like. Yep. All right. Jesus. If anyone talks shit to me in a town again, I know not to actually uh, get off my horse. That is not worth. Let's never do that again. Execute them? Uh, I think they're already dead. Because in this game, whenever you punch someone out, they have like a dead symbol on them. Can I help you? Oh, it looks Hello, like Red you Viper. boys had some trouble. <sighs> yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. Thank, and, uh, thank you kindly. Sorry for your troubles, man. Seems like a good way to start a stream, warming up. No, that is not a good way to start the stream. Like, hey, everybody, welcome to the stream. And then 10 minutes of, uh, 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 uh. And not even the good kind of uh. It's just, it's a very really bad kind of uh. We're good men, like you. We don't know me. You turn up in town, you're helping everybody. Hey, Dara, thank you for the, wow. He is the best fighters. Yes, we are. Indeed. Thank you for the, the walk. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. Hey, Stoney, welcome. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. A hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. Oh. We've got gold. I ain't no Said Yankee the magic friend. words. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you... 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. We really need to do something with our hair there. Uh, so, Stoney, after you played this game, you now have come to the conclusion that it is actually okay that I kill everybody, huh? No more lassoing needed? Got it. Understood. Hey, what up, Cork? How's it going, man? As I understand it, there is a Fallout 76 beta going on. I really wish I cared about that game. But I just... I do not. I do not. Like, I feel like I should. It seems like one of the big Radio games, pool? but... Eh. If he only knew we just torched his tobacco crop. That was you? The old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Uh, we robbed a bank yesterday? Showing I think? Like a Mike? I'm sure. I think that was yesterday. What are you doing? Five thousand for horses. They must be rich. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Yes, I mean Fallout 4 multiplayer. <laughs> get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. 
we gonna play it just looks this? so pointless. This place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Uh, yes, I would prefer to shoot instead of fist fight, Darth. Did we get like 10,000 from it? Uh, actually, I think we did. I did think we did around that, that amount. Well, the gang did. Our cut was... I can't remember what our cut was. Actually. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. But head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. So we're supposed to steal the horses from the Braithwaite's and then sell them? Okay. Yeah. I was only half paying attention to the dialogue because I was reading chat. Uh, hello, Swag. Are you implying that I am your father? That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. Okay. So you're just gonna let us walk in like this? Man, security sucks. Let me do the talking. I help you boys I hope so heard you got some horses we always got horses fine horses I mean I don't get you friend yeah you do come on listen why don't you get out of here you scarface and your greaser buddy hey now I don't like officials we ain't officials we're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings come on now partner okay fine follow me these here's mainly the studs available for purchased or for working if that's what you're interested in what is your boys interested in we represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, saratoga is that so unofficially of course well, this here's cerberus oh is it it's a cool name i like the name cerberus let me tell you oh sorry i accidentally stabbed you in the neck with a knife uh -huh. oh man i got blood all over okay. my new outfit god man on. don't need nobody recognizing Alright, I'll grab the white one in the middle, you get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Come on now. Come on now. Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. It's alright, it's alright. I just murdered the bad man. You're fine now. Wait. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two! What the hell are you doing? Uh-oh. Things about to get, uh, about to get lit. Come here, Rob! I said stop these men! May now proceed to shut up, friend. More coming this way. Out of the fields. Ah. Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> we got more on horseback. Keep going, I'm coming. Shit. They blocked their way out. We'll have to go through the fields. There's a gap in the Oh, area. Jesus. We can get out that way. Let's try to lose them in the trees. God, that dude just ran right up on me. Sorry, what? I can't hear you over the sound of my gun. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no, get up. Get up, Brody. Hey, listen. We we got out of that a lot better than the other guy, though. Because, you know, he's dead. Yep, no more trouble. Got it. I was trying a new tactic on bringing down bad guys. Shit! One of the stallions is loose. Keep going. I'll get him. Wow, this is gonna be the first time I've actually lassoed a horse. No, 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 no. This way. Wait, what? Well, that was shitty. Whoa, now. All right. You can release L2 and the rope will remain attached to them. Okay. Come on, buddy. Just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Now. Well, that could have gone. So why are these horses worth five thousand dollars? You think they look like they're paying five thousand for horses? I guess we'll see. Easy, easy. Howdy, friends. Am I going to shoot you in the face, or can we make a deal here? Come here. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh... Heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That's so? Pop? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. So what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Oh, this is this is a thing. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you six hundred and fifty for them. Hey. <laughs> I was told we could get up to five thousand dollars for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. What? Not one That's bit. not true. But I like you boys, but I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're going to need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again. I hope. 
Come on. I feel yeah. like I was just robbed was gate, in a mission where I robbed somebody. I don't feel good about that. Uh, hello, Baba Ganoush. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that gray family. Hello, Lockhart. Imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Hmm. You can sell horses to Clay and Clive at Clemens Cove. They will pay more than a stable for stolen horses, but less than purchased horses. Okay. I'll get right on that one. Uh, let's see what kind of bullets we got over here. Take. Probably going to have to do some restocking here. Oh, you know, first let's uh, let's go to the shave thing. Let's see what I can do with the shave. Uh, let's see, trim. <laughs> so we have a length of seven out of ten. Okay. Can I? I guess all fish. Wait. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's something about that look that is just funny to me. Old honest Abe. Hmm. I still kind of want to see how far we can get the beard to grow, but I'm also kind of tired of looking at the beard. I think we keep the chops. I think we get rid of the beard. Chin. I'll keep the mustache for now. So that way we still have some hair that's really long, but I did get rid of the chin. Uh, hello, Nicotine. How's it going? Why not? Let's pomade the hair. Oh, you're so fancy. Yeah, Bill. Actually, wait, give all debts? What? What debts? I didn't know I had a debt to the camp. Been a while since we donated. Sitting on three grand, I figure we can do something. We are paying it forward. Yeah, there we go. It's the money from the debt you collected? Oh, right! I forgot, yeah, we did collect one of the two, or one of the three, I can't remember. That's right, that's right. I've forgotten about that. Alright, so we want to refill the medicine. Refill the provisions. No, don't need to. Refill the bullets. And improve the tents for the rest of camp. We'll do that. Why not? Oh, look at all those fancy tents. They just look like a bunch of bed sheets thrown over sticks. I really don't care about the horse station. I guess I can get a chicken coop. Why not? That is a crappy chicken. What? Is, how many chickens can you fit in there? Four, maybe? <sighs> hmm... There's got to be more of a reason than just getting more horse room, right? All right, yeah, I'll just, I have a ton of money. What, what is this going to be doing? The camp horse station has been unlocked. Recall your main horse to camp or access stabled horses quickly. Oh, okay, so that's the purpose. Okay. Oh, right, that makes sense. That's worthwhile, then. Meta Traveler selling an old bolt. Boat. Useful? Mm, sure, why not? I'm in a spinning mood. 
Is this just so we can go out and fish, though? Because that was a waste of money if that's the case. Alright, I think that was probably just a waste of money, but it's fine. I don't mind paying for all the upgrades in a camp that's not even run by me. It's fine. Let's go grab some more bullets. Let's take the fire bottle. Because we used a couple when burning the tobacco fields. Paid for the bullets, so I might as well take some. There we go. And did not use any arrows, apparently. Did not do any throwing knives. Okay. What is this up here? Good morning, Mr. Morgan. This looks like some kind of aiming? What is this? Oh, hunting? Nah, I'm good. I'm good, buddy. We'll just continue on with the missions. Oh, Micah. Ah, oh, great, my favorite. All right, Micah, what's up? Micah? Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called- Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well. <laughs> However it goes, I'm not sure we all that line of serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. Hello, Bob. Welcome. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The Adriscals. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the Adriscal boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a cornered tiger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things. Like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course. It's probably a trap. But what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. He ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that slim chance. I don't see the point in any of I mean, this. it's a trap. It's a chance. You've gotta take I can hear Admiral Akbar screaming from his grave right now. It's a fucking trap. Long time ago. Then he killed a woman I love dear. Hmm. Thank you for this year of support. As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. Hey, Lisa, thank you for gifting us up the nicotine. Gosh, for 12 months, jeez. <laughs> thank you, Lisa. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. So this is just going to end up with us killing a bunch of O'Driscolls, right? Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. I feel like we should be taking the whole gang, not just three people. I sense a problem with our plan. You know, I've been fighting Comb for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. You're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, uh, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. 
I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us? Because of Blackwater? And Leviticus Cornwall and his pride. Oh, yeah, that guy. Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts? And O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle. Sorry, Dutch. To. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us. Okay, just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. Wow. As would I. They put a lot of faith in me. I mean, I guess I am the player character. I, I am destined to be the best. Hey, up there, men on the ridge. Old Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. What? That's my problem. Micah? Caring too much? Caring too much? What? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Man created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth it. Believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. Okay. All right, cowpoke. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. Sure. All right. All right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Go on! I'll shoot a whole bunch of O'Driscolls for y'all. We're gonna need. Is this the one that we want? Oh shoot! I think it is. Oh wait, no, that's the one we want. Okay. Oh, take care, Darth. Hello, birds. Birds of a feather and all that. You know, it would be pretty easy to spot me. I'm just saying, a silhouette on top of this little hill here. We're not very stealthy. God, look at that facial hair. Hello, Kenobi. Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? 
better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, I still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Well, <laughs> hello, sugar. <laughs> you ain't dead, is you? <laughs> Not yet, anyway. <laughs> Crawford? I don't know. Column's got a sense. Uh, handing them over to the law. It's, I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fucked the whole lot of them. With this fella Colum's right, <laughs> we can draw them all back. Yeah. True. Where'd call him? He's escaping! Shoot him! Relax! Relax! I got him! I got him! Did I kill you? Oh, not yet! <laughs> uh, no, of course not! Uh, not yet! But I will! Um. Did we just take a shotgun to the face? Somehow we're alive, but it really looked like we just took a shotgun slug to the face. Finally! Put his weapons over there! Don't you just love it when games make you suck? No, I don't. I, it's very jarring. When the entire game, you're like, I'm just going to murder 30 people, like, it's no problem. And then all of a sudden, you're forced into the situation where, like, three dudes take you. Because it's a cutscene, and the game story demands it. It's very jarring. Arthur Morgan. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. <laughs> How's Woo? Hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Septic. Ain't nice. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Colm. No, no. It's Dutch's famous car. <laughs> you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Nah, I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached truth. Let me go, Colm. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, but they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sword. <laughs> if I were you. I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you. Hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? <laughs> of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. Arthur, I missed you. Jesus. Uh, uh, uh. 
I guess this scene is supposed to set up a favorable situation in the future where we can kill that man. And it's supposed to make us feel good because he overpowered us, put us in a basement, and hit us with a pistol a couple times. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't just capture Dutch and um, Micah as well. Clearly they could have. But I guess they wanted Dutch to bring the whole gang, which Dutch should have done the first time. Okay, so the shotgun was in our shoulder. Got it. Oh, this is weird. Okay. Not entirely sure. What a Jesus. Wait a minute, Shiri, you you take a file to mosquito bites? What's you just still dig doing down oh, there? Shit. It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. This is a scene from Rambo, is it? I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of me. Hello, crack. Start off on the right foot. Do I have access to my satchel? Okay, I don't have anything. Easy peasy. Hot cutlery stops mosquito bite itches? I had no idea. Yeah, you know, just riding through the woods in our underwear. It's better than streaking. Here you can get in trouble for streaking. Oh. 
Forster. Uh, I told you it was a setup, Dutch. Oh, my boy, my dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah, yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. Oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're uh, safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. Uh, uh, oh. You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. Where's my fancy hat? You're safe now. It's a new hat. It's pretty. It does. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. Oh, are we in a dream? Are we the coyote? Or am I the grass? I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Thank you, Reverend. Man, all that hair we just shaved, now it's just back, because it's been a few weeks. The gang have replaced your stolen weapons, they are on your saddle. Excellent, excellent. It's like nothing has changed. Beautiful. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. What, man? Yes, Reverend. Do you think the Pinkertons are finally gonna kill us? Perhaps. I'm so worried. We got the chin pubes back? <laughs> yeah, yes, we do. Yeah, we do. Until we can um, find a place to cut our hair, I'm going to switch the outfits back to the other one. Well, what's the plan? I mean, after Blackwater, we don't want any more deaths. There we go. Because this... Our current hair situation fits this more. Two-bit huckster. Jose. Huh? I am willing to die for this, if that is what it takes, but right now, I need to be left alone by all the second guessers. As you wish, my friend. Hmm. Now get us out of this, Arthur. You know that. Yeah. Do I know that? Dutch. We look like crap? What? No. I think we look okay right now. Well. Alright, yeah, we look like crap. Oh, right. This guy. Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. What? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? <laughs> of course I robbed a goddamn <laughs> stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. The last one I, was. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. All right. Back to roots. You sure seem to have got about around here. 
You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, here we are. We can hitch up outside. You're not gonna complete that I'll that statement. <laughs> yeah, the riding cam is is nice and required because my God, you spend most of this game on a horse riding somewhere. That is not even a joke. Don't surprise me in the least. Come on, hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Oh. I almost forgot. Bill asked me to give you a message to meet him here in town as soon as you can. Oh, did he? Something to do with the craze. I thought I'd nab you first. That's how we open yeah. doors. Okay. Thanks. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, Just friend? take a seat over here. Well, never mind. Times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Arthur. How's it going? Here. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. I see. So there's going to be side missions where we can just set up what stagecoach robberies? I thought you might like to see that panther up. Oops. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. See, so yeah, this sounds like some kind of side mission stuff. Alright. I never did read this, did I? This pamphlet. Well, there we go. Now we read it. Okay, let's go this way. And then this. Coach coming south down the river road through Stillwater Strand. Valuables. I'm reading. Jose, Josea, whatever your name is. Passenger is the very wealthy Miss Chester Damson, aspiring but appalling opera singer. Oh, okay. I'm not a fan of the opera. 
Phantom or otherwise. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much. Also, there's Dear not boy. that much left to spend our money on, really. You gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? I need to dust my. Oh, I can't get my horse right now. Of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Because, like, we've already done all the Just camp upgrades. So the only thing is buying, I guess, maybe slightly better horses if they are presented. And then weapons, whenever those are finally unlocked, so we can buy all the good ones. Easy. Spend my money on an aspiring opera singer? No. If I was to invest my money, it would not be in an opera singer. Unless, like, I really like that person. I mean, really like that person. Okay, this should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Well, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, old, and very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Great. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. What do you mean? You mean these guns? Maybe you meant this gun. I don't know. Which gun did you mean? Which one do you want me to keep holstered, buddy? I'm wondering if we're still riding on auto in this mode. Mrs. Chester Damson. I flatter. Yeah, it looks like we do. Stop the coach, my good man! Stop the coach! Whoa! Uh, take care, King Vision. Beautiful. <laughs> 
tuo adagio. Yep, you never know who might be around. I've heard enough. <laughs> might I have your card? Madam, I have heard enough. The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. My niece, of course. So sorry, gentlemen. That's what they call me, Crack. Big Sneaky. Oh, well. Maybe for once. Well done, sir. I finessefully well done, shoot people in the face all the time. Did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's always good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Thanks for opening up these side missions. Uh, what was his name? Josiah. Okay, boy. Yep. Alright, so now I need to go see a good old Bill, though it does look like it is locked. What what a crime? What? No one saw me do it. Also, I thought I paid off my bounty here. I must have paid it off somewhere else. Whoops. Whoops. You're, you're looking real nice today, Bill. Shut up. <laughs> Is this Micah again, too? Been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's Can I get my pump action shotgun? Say. They said there was some big misunderstanding. I kind of want my shotgun horses. right now, friends. And what did they board in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah, they think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these gray boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're oh, we're just walking through. Few, I, I'm on auto walk. No, don't walk. Oh, God. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite. Hey, hold up. This don't. Now it don't feel right. I could have told you. Woo! Jesus! Holy shit! Dude, Sean is. Sean is dead. Yeah, he's pretty fucking dead, man. Holy shit. Trying to get into the. There we go. Thank you. This mode. Didn't leave nothing for me. You're gonna plenty more where I came from. You're dead for. Damn, Luke. We ain't getting out of 
this with nothing. That's assuming we even get out. Of course we're getting out of it. This is you and me, Morgan. We always get So wait, did Bill die? I know he got shot, but did he did he actually just die? Sean got shot in the face. He did. They may have taken Bill though. We'd have had to deal with these sons of bitches sooner or later. Just turned out to be sooner. Uh, let's switch to. Oh, we are on Express. Never mind. You brains must be even dumber than I thought. We play you boys like a fiddle. Is this the best you fools got? I can't. Get that guy. There we go. Hello, Stop. Welcome. If I have to. See that? Those cowards. Running away. Looks like most of them. Not all of them. Sheriff Gray. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. Come on. Sheriff Gray! You need to get a hold on this town. It's going to hell. I really want to loot all these people. We put down far worse than you a hundred times over. This is the brain town. Is it? Always has been, always will be. Only days I see left around here is you. Alright, hold on, hold on. Let's get this done. Children will bleed them all out one by one. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Last chance. Die in there cowering like a dog. Or come out and face it like a man. Oh, uh, hello, Vix. Welcome. You want us to come out? We'll come out. Shit. Oh, Bill. Guns on the ground now. Don't do it! You know we can't do that. You put the gun down, Sheriff! I'll blow his brains out! You wanna join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? Uh, there we go. Damn, Sean. He was a good kid. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you, same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. And you can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Bury him proper someplace quiet. <clears throat> Maka? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. But all the bodies that we can loot, I, the bodies, the watches and stuff that I can take. No. Sean has been killed. His head shot half off in an ambush. Still no Confederate gold, but a shitload of trouble. Hmm. They're in lockdown. Remaining lawmen in the area will be looking for us. Okay. There can't be that many more. We have killed so many of them. Okay, boy. Let's go. Also, my hat. Where the hell is my hat at? There we 
we go. Uh, they will most likely release this on the PC stuff, but it may not be until the end of next year, I'm, I'm guessing. weapons at hmm. all I want is my shotgun on my back I want this rifle don't get hysterical Arthur have you seen that boy Jack what uh -huh. where's my goddamn son uh -oh. where is he where's my son they took him didn't they they took my son who took him we think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him. We will bring him back to you. And we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill them. Rest of you, let's ride. Finally, we're riding out in numbers. Okay, let's go get that boy back. Hello, Mike. Or Michael, sorry. Uh, I'm playing on the PS4. Alright, so we want our pump action. And then we want... Probably just a repeater. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard about John too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know. We are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jeff! I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. But if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. Uh, I saw a normal PS4. I, I don't have a pro. every stone. For Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. Hello, Unthinkable. They underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on. Um, I don't think I get that reference, Shay. Okay, get your heads right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. Oh, that was Lassie? Now, I've never seen Lassie. We should have stayed out of all of this. Yeah, my PS4 sounds like it's gonna blow up when this game runs. Come on, let's get this done, John. You sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. That's to be expected. Is it, Michael? I thought the whole point of consoles was that one console is going to be fine running all the games for that console, but really it's kind of like you kind of need a PS4 Pro at this point. It's basically just like PC upgrades.
I have not seen Flipper, nor Skippy. You inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. He must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. See, we're going to do this the hard way. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this. Damn! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, buddy! Let's go to slug rounds here. It's not the time for a lockpick. <laughs> Kick that door open! Jack? Oh, shit! Hey, Rose, how's it going? This family took Jack, uh, John Marston's young son. So yeah, we are somewhat upset with him. Shit. John, Arthur, I'll hold them down here. We got more coming in. Arthur, get out there. We got this door covered. Nope, trying to aim at the other guys. Is that guy's face on fire? Like what? Shotgun. Uh, we don't need slug shells. We can go back to regular for this. Come on, this must be it. I can't see a goddamn thing. 
Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except by Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son! Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Hello, boo. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. What about down? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> she may have messed with the wrong now people. Let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. <laughs> That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. You boys sure Jack ain't in here. We searched everywhere, Dutch. You got that one, Arthur? I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. <laughs> Into the cribbage game. Oh shit, Jose. Oh shit. This is, uh, this game got serious, man. Hey, thank you for the whistle, Doria. Welcome to the stream. I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there. Or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. Uh. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, I know, correct. There's a lot of corpses there we didn't we didn't loot. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um she she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically. Well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you well, think, I'm, the boy will be fine. It's a bit optimistic, but, I think. Well, of course, Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. The Pinkertons. Good day, fine people. Hello, Sheridan. Mr. Vanderland. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure? Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. 
We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man. So in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. The hell? You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else you came for me risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love <sighs> ain't that fine <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to kill all these folk dutch just you in that case it'll be my honor to join you Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. You know, if someone says they're going to come back and kill you, well, that's now, when you kill them first. We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back. And we'll get gone. Rest of you get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. Uh, hello, Dark Lord. Welcome. I think this game, at least this part of the game, is taking place in a Louisiana-ish type area. I left a box of ammunition by your tent. Oh, thank you for getting me that palmate. Oh, an entire box? Thanks, Bill. That's so fucking generous. Uh, we got to stretch out the drama in this game. Oh, is that why we didn't shoot him? Look at that photo. Hold on, John. I'm making sure I got ammo. Jesus. All right, I got my ammo. Let's go. <laughs> Why not get an orbital laser cannon for perimeter defense? Boo, you really have a fixation. <laughs> on laser cannons from space. Follow me. I know the way. This isn't Cowboy vs. Aliens? Oh, you know, I've actually seen that movie. Dark Lord, I totally forgot about that. Cowboys vs. Aliens. Did I like that? I don't think I like that movie. We should be going for Jack. Or like, maybe it was okay at the will. best? I don't know. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail, or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew it right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? A lot. Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too involved with those two families 
Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on. It ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll get through it. Yeah. Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. And rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me. We didn't land in Dutch, Sherwood Forest. Hosea, Sherwood Forest landed on us. a long time now. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. You were saying before you rode off? Sure has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. Uh, Rose, yeah, some sure things have happened empty? in this stream. I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here. And take. Trying to wait for them to stop talking. So, um, our character got captured by the O'Driscolls. He had a shotgun put to his shoulder. Uh, then we escaped the O'Driscolls. So that happened. Um, and also we were ambushed by the Gray family, and they murdered Sean. The uh, uh, how to describe? I guess what the Irishman. Uh, so he's dead. Oh, shit. So those two things kind of happen. Oh shit! Still some here. I can tell you, that. you think there's more of them? I'll check the house. Well, clearly there's more here. of them. Yeah, they shot Sean in the face. It was pretty brutal. Howdy. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? We'll find out who put you up to this. Dead or alive, you're leaving this place today. He sounds somewhat upset. Where are you creeps hiding? You're gonna die in alone. All right, that's how doors work. Sorry, did you want to start monologuing at me? I'm not down for monologues, friends. Yeah, I think everything is fine now. Doesn't work. You coming? It's rude to interrupt someone's monologue. <laughs> Listen, 
You never let the people monologue. Monologuing is stupid. If any of you are ever in a situation where you're about to monologue at somebody, don't do it. Especially if you plan on killing them after the monologue, just kill them. Like, what purpose does it serve to monologue at them first? Here. Give me a hand moving these bodies. I don't want the others walking into this. He was like, blah, 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 I'm gonna slowly load my gun and then go down in a blaze of glory. And then he just expects me to wait right, for way. him to load his gun to we'll give him, like, a shot? No. You must be out of your mind. I don't care about his life story. How about action movie one-liners? Sure, yeah, you can do that. One-liners are fine, because they're pretty quick. Yeah, there you go. Shoot first and monologue second. Yeah, like, now I can monologue about that guy. In fact, I did. I was like, oh, look at me. I'm a big bad guy. I'm going to sit up from my bed and just totally talk about blah, 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 blah. And you know why I can monologue about that guy? Because him and all of his friends are dead. And not around to shoot me while I'm monologuing. All right, see you soon. Oh god, I really gotta clear out all these bodies. Oh god. Immersion. I knew one of these days someone was gonna come for me. Like, what the fuck? I have a shotgun in your face. What are you doing? Why don't you shoot monologue guy in the leg instead? No. Because the end result's going to be the same. After he is done talking, I will kill him. Can I... Oh my god, it's like... I want to throw them off this second level balcony so then I don't have to... It's quicker if I just throw them all off the balcony and then collect them from the you know front door area instead of running back up here every time. Gosh darn it. Alright, Arthur, let's do it the long way. Oh, uh, yeah, Nicotino, I do not think that they would continue to talk either if I shot them in the leg with a shotgun, but the point isn't to get them to stop talking, the point is to kill them. So why would I extend their life by shooting them in the leg? Uh, take care, unthinkable. Gots to be efficient when you have to dispose of this many shattered corpses. <laughs> exactly. We got fine living. Know the corpses in the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Damn one, Arthur. Was that the important one? No, that wasn't even the important one. The important one had his face blown off. But I guess we only had to collect one Can corpse. Can that girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. Ah, this my punishment roads. Here. That makes sense. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. Oh, Lord. We are going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. 
We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families, losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about Where the it. hell are we gonna go? Whatever we do, oh, Canada? we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. I don't even know what Canada was like during this time. Good old Canada. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Wow, future's pretty bleak. <laughs> Jesus. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. A lot of ice up in Canada at this time. Fewer gators. Okay, both of those make sense. There is no ocean between us and Canada? Well, I mean, there's ocean around. And if you want to call the five Great Lakes, you can maybe pull those all together and call them an ocean if you just want to change the name a little bit. Hey, look at the stables. Yeah, hey, how's it going? I love this place. It's so cool. Okay. Welcome to you and your horse. Hello. I'm sorry, what? Sorry, but we're full. There's no stall for you. All right, well, how about I sell some Tennessee Walkers here? There we go. I can work with a nag like this. And a thou an Arabian horse? Look at those stats. Yes. Um, is it too cliche to call this one Aladdin? Hmm, let's see. Yeah, I think it would be. So then maybe we'll say like the genie. Got it. You're gonna make a lot of folks jealous with that horse. Uh, upgrade. I think the saddlebag is just the one that we carry over for all the horses. Listen, we still have a reference to Aladdin. It's a couple layers removed, but it's still an Aladdin reference. You just got to think about that one a little bit more. Also, it's not necessarily uh, like obvious. Only obvious when you think about it. Ah, whatever. I, I don't can't care about tell the blankets. You how many times I use that one. Uh, hello, True Blue. And back. Back. I'll miss that nag. To another Arabian night. There you go, Crack. You got it. Aladdin's horse was called Robin. <laughs> yep, there you go, Boo. Alright, where the hell are we even going? I think I once drove a train through part of this town early on in the game. So we've got a stables, we've got a show, newspaper. Post office. We can check out the gunsmith. This is going to be bounty board, stranger mission, an actual tailor, and a barber, and a trapper. Wow, look at all the stuff we got up here. What's your problem? 
Well, I am putting about like six-ish hours a day into this game, True Blue, for the streams. Which is going to be slower than some people and faster than others, I guess. You know? I, I, I'm looking for my mate Gavin. Does that mean the next horse would be called me. Batman? <laughs> no. If I was going to name it a Batman reference, then I wouldn't name it Batman. It'd be something in the Batman universe, probably. You could have called the horse Abu. Listen, Nicotine, who's the more cherished character in the Aladdin movie? Abu or Genie? If you say Abu, Nicotine, we can't be friends. Nothing wrong with Abu. Abu is a fantastic monkey. But when compared to the Genie... Can you name one of our horses Spike or Vash? I'd be down with that. Good old Vash Stampede. Welcome to Cao Chow. I don't think I've seen you here before. No, that's my first time, buddy. Let me know what you are looking for. <sighs> These guns are still locked? Jesus. Okay. No. 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 Damn, man. Alright, let's buy some bullets, I guess. Just buy all the get bullets. Hey, hey, fuck that monkey. Listen, Abu is a fine character. I'm not saying, you know, I'm not I'm not I down on Abu, I'm just saying the genie is better. Hell the carpet's better than Abu. Very nice. Thank you for the ammunition there, friend. Thanks, Mr. Yeah. Alright, let's go scout out the three little areas. Oh! Pardon, madam. Oh shit. Did I kill her? Uh, I just got into this town. Gosh darn it. <laughs> if I ever crash into anything, it's mostly because I'm reading chat at the time. <laughs> My bounty is 300 bucks? All I did was knock over a single lady! <laughs> no, I don't want to do a mega rampage, but I actually just want, I want to do the story. If I do a mega rampage, it's gonna be like 10 minutes of me just shooting up a bunch of bounty hunters yeah. that are ever respawning and there's, it, it, it's never ending. Like there's really no point in ever doing a mega rampage in a city because they're just gonna keep spawning. And it's just like, well, what the hell am I even doing at this point? I did smash a horse into a tree, but that's because I was reading chat at the time. Now my bounty is 307. Listen, the horse is fine. God, how did I manage to rack up $300 in this place already? Like I said, I did drive a stolen train through here once. I can't believe I did enough damage to have a $300 bounty on my head for that thing.
Looks like I may still be wanted here. Hey, I saw that guy before. This new horse is technically a murder weapon. <laughs> I just need you to ask around in public places for information. Oh, okay. Well, this could be a little weird with the lawmen around. When I started this. Evening, to you. Say what you want about the people around here. They're friendly. Okay, there. Okay. Damn fool, lady. Have a good night, sir. I got honored just for talking to people. Stick him up, cowboy. Isn't that Dutch? <laughs> yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. Hello, civilized friends. <clears throat> Howdy. Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of the morning. <clears throat> Excuse for you. me. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> so this must be like New Orleans. We love it. Born and over race. here. Ooh. Well, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Sure. That's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Hmm. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big. Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I, I find I, I do not oh, know. Well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Okay. Oh, hey, friend. You, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. <clears throat> Hello, police officer. Totally did not accidentally run over somebody. Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the... Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. Thank you. Wait. Up here? Howdy, friends. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. 
I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Here. <laughs> Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? True. We did leave our murder weapon behind, so clearly we're not the Stay murderers. Close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope he won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. What you been is... to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you little pair of shit. Didn't see that coming. Get going. He's coming after us. Stop, God damn it. I am not against lassoing a kid. Jared, you want me to shoot them in the leg? I don't think I want to shoot the kid, but I wouldn't mind lassoing them. catch up to a child the legs are, are tiny man about to commit a crime. Don't you have pigs to feed? I'll kill you, thieving bastard. What on You're earth? making a fool of yourself. How long is this chase going to happen? Like... Come through here about 14, How's it going? 15. Oh, yeah, he ran right to us. Ran around the corner there. Whoa! Oh, my God. This is fun, mister. I like you. Seriously, how the hell are we not catching up with this child? Oh. Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, <gasps> come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. You don't like no one, mister. 
Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about mm -hmm. you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. Keeping mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking mm -hmm. questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Hey, thank you for another... Ah! Happy mom. Thank you.